Welcome to Good Mythical More. You know what? As what? with adults, chicken who, butt. Who, who, people, you say, well, you, you know, know what? what? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. I can. I never like that. As with adults who pair wine and cheese or wine and certain foods, the kids need to know what to pair yep. between their juices, juices and their snacks, and that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> but first, let's give fifty dollars to Rachy Turtle. Rachy Turtle repping mythical today at Ironton Wizard Fest. Ironton Wizard Fest. Nice and warm. Obviously, a society member got that society blanket hoodie. Wow. Repping two types of merch. Love that. We'll give you $50 towards um, buying something else at mythical.com. Thank you, Rachy. How's that? <laughs> Hashtag merchicality. So. Let's go through what we have here. Tell me what you uh, got. I've got three, well, okay, well, I've got Kool-Aid Jammers, Cherry, and then I've got Capri Sun, which is the original bag drink. We've got Strawberry Kiwi, and then we've got uh, another Kool-Aid Jammer. This is grape. Grape. And we've got Fruit Punch and Apple Juice. Then over here we've got Llama Rama, what are these? Fun candy coated chocolate chips, unlike a granola bar. We've got mixed fruit fruit snacks from Welch's, and then we've got the fruit roll up. So we got a, some fruit stuff happening yeah, here. Yeah, well, did you hear that? Little, yeah, one of those burps that you don't know if anybody not, heard it but you, but it's I not, did. It's, it's almost not a burp. It's, it's, like it's a, in a different oh, spot. It's like a purr. It, is, it a, purr. is it lower or higher than a burp? Oh, Lord. It's like it, air didn't come out of my stomach. Air Somet came, came out of my throat. Sometimes you'll do that as a fart. Do you know that? Sometimes you'll, it's, for me, it'll be a fart that's like not on the very end. It's like somewhere inside. It's like a stomach growl that's so close to being a fart. You know what I'm saying? I don't know at what point. Yeah, pre-fart. It's a pre-fart. I mean, how many of those do you have? It's like day? it's moving towards the fart. It's an internal fart. A lot of times, it's like, is this about to be a real fart? I mean, I think your and stomach then I, I growling. I wait it out. I wait it out. Is your stomach growling also an internal fart? I mean, it's the movement of. Yeah. But why is it not as embarrassing? Air. You know. No, my stomach growl. You've heard my stomach growl. It's I mean, like, see, notorious. Second I get, let's just say second she's I got hungry. a loud I'm stomach like, growl. It, you know. But here's the thing it ain't like you fart in front of us. <laughs> no, you know it's saying? always when I'm like, really hungry, but I just get there very, very But why quickly. is it not as embarrassing? I guess because it doesn't stink. There's uh, no stink I associated with it. I think it's embarrassing. It. No, but. But I remember that one time we were in that like important meeting and I had to, I, I brought a little bag of nuts and I had to eat the nuts because yeah, my stomach was growling. Fart, yeah, That's but if you were farting over yeah. and over again, but the meeting like, would have been If you're different. at a conference table and you're like, why is that? Why is that woman eating nuts like randomly? Well, I mean, no. I don't know. I it's don't nothing know. compared yeah. to farting, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Farting's, yeah, that's true. You know what? Farting's a different level. Try a little flatulence. So comparing the two. See, see, yeah. And then then compare the two. Yeah. yeah. Next time we're in an important meeting, just fart a few times and see how it goes. I would like to let's try to pair these. Let's try to pair these up before we Oh, let's guess. Anything. You're right. Okay. Like and so then, I'm starting with cherry. You don't like cherry. So let's, what do you what do you like that maybe balances it out? Well, we've got El Monterey, family owned since 1964, extra crunchy Southwest chicken taquitos, as my dad would call them. <laughs> and then we have um, Totino pizza rolls, of course. Ooh, that's a good that's a good cherry flavor. <laughs> I like but that. But the pro like. Oh, I like that. Because this is fruit snacks, like what's the best thing to go with fruit snacks? Probably a juice. So probably any <laughs> any one of these would work. Probably the most mild juice. So the apple juice. So I'm going, th this is a strong flavor, so we need a strong flavor to balance it out. I think it might be a pizza roll. Cherry and pizza rolls. Okay. But you gotta taste the cherry. Well, I, I'm gonna taste it together. I'm gonna put this down there with it. Taste the cherry, he says. Gladly. I don't really like cherry flavored things, I just like cherries. I think you might like this. I can't really get this sheath off of it. How does this, oh, there we go. Well, it doesn't pair well. It doesn't pair well? Nope. Taste it by itself. 
Ooh. It got way worse after the pizza roll. Well, if, so if you don't like it already, then you wait until you taste like, a pizza roll. I don't like it. Well, I'm gonna taste another one with the pizza roll. I think maybe a, we need, if, if that's not working, then we need to go with grape. Great. Going grape. We're going grape. Now these are, who knew that so many people were making pouches nowadays? Yeah, I, how does Capri Sun feel about that? When Kool-Aid did that, wasn't it like a violation of something? Somebody in some boardroom was. Well, I think we can do it now. Upset. I think we can do it. Kool-Aid grape is a different grape. It's not, it's no Welch's. I'll no, say that much. Uh -uh, it's not. Let me try one of these with it though. Kind of works. I kind of like the grape mm -hmm. and the pizza roll. Mm hmm. I feel like a kid again. That's very complimentary. It in the way clash. that the cherry wasn't. All right. Official pairing grape and pizza rolls. For now. We gotta get something with the cherry to make the cherry taste better. It's probably not gonna be the taquitos. It needs to be something else you think you'll hate, so we can have two things that you just hate next to each other. Something that I hate with, well I don't hate any of these, homie. Maybe this, this, uh, what have they done here? La putting a llama. Llama Rama, fun candy coated chocolate chips. So it's, it's just what I thought it was. You're not gonna like this. Look at that, you don't like M&Ms and it's got like m and m light things on it. Well, reminder, Sporked ranked like a bunch of kids stuff, so this is all like. Oh, they did? Sporked approved kids things. Not, I mean, not to say that you won't, that you're gonna like everything, but just to wrap your head around. Well, I will tell you, this one tastes good. I think it makes a cherry. This actually makes it taste like. Cause there's chocolate. Black cherry. Ice cream kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I think that works. All right, the chocolate covers the world of cherry hurt. Okay. So we're gonna keep that together because we discovered that. Something about this chewy dips granola bar. You kinda like it. It's tasty, that's good, man. You like a granola. I don't usually love a granola, but that one is like so sugary that I like it. Strawberry kiwi. This is Capri Sun, this is the real deal. This is the ones that started it all. The original. Probably owned by the same company though at this point. See, I think you you squeeze it up in order to like, you wanna turn the navel north by squeezing. Mm -hmm. And then as you poke, you wanna let go. You have to release. Oh, and it still comes out on your knuckle. Then you suck your knuckle. You seductively suck your knuckle. Mm. A, a seductive knuckle suckle is, uh, is not, you know, no one should complain about that, right? Uh, this is not great. Quit sucking your knuckle. A seductive it. knuckle suckle? Quit doing seductive knuckle suckles and taste your drink. Seductively suckling my knuckle? Strawberry kiwi. That's got a, that fake strawberry flavor, which I'm not a fan of. Oh yeah, that's not good. So, uh, Ooh, we eat, that's you not wanna good. put it with- Let's try one of these. taquito? Extra crunchy, it says. Seven grams of protein. Real chicken in this. Not bad at all. Well, I do feel a little sad. Pretty complimentary though. Something about it made me sad. Are you simply sad? What, you got sad? I felt, yeah, I got sad. The taquitos made you sad? Yeah. Did it give you a thought? Did, it, did you access a memory? Come on, let's deal with this. Did you have a you have a bad association with a taquito? I think I was just thinking about you taking that chicken and your mom spanking you. You remember that? <laughs> Do I remember? You knew you. Why are you eating her chicken, man? It smelled so good. It was just chicken. I but was, you, you knew good and well it was just her chicken. That makes me sad for her. Um. Yeah. I mean, that's why she spanked me because it made her sad too. <laughs> She spanked me in the midst of her sadness. And did I felt I felt empathy for her. Did that make her happy? Was she happy when she was done? You know, they, you know, our, our parents were, they were parents of our times. 
All of them were spanking, you know. It, it was, it was, it was, all, it was just on the booty. My stepdad spanked me, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll never forget looking at the underside of the toilet, because he sat down on a he what he had his pants up. I always have to say, he had his pants up, and the lid was down on the toilet. But he sat on the toilet, and he threw me over his thighs. What? Who who did this? My stepdad. Oh. And so when he spanked me, I was able to see up from the up underneath the toilet. Cause your mom never spanked you. And I never saw a toilet from that angle either. <laughs> and you were like, oh wow, there's like, it's like bolted to the floor. Um, but there's like a whole undulating thing in the back of a toilet. That's yeah. the first time I saw it while I was getting spanked. So now every time I see a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, well, you look, look over your shoulder. I flinch a little bit. I'm looking, looking for my stepdad to roll up and drape me over his thighs. But was it a, was it a bad experience? <laughs> it was great. I, I'm better for it. Well, I mean, I mean, better for it. incidentally. I don't know if you are. He was a plumber. Yeah, for a while. They say it's not as good to do it. You know, that's why we didn't. Do uh, it. We yeah, we don't do it because they said not to do it. All the psychologists said, "Don't." We are anti spanking. You don't, you don't do it mythical. anymore. You don't. For, you don't do it. You're not supposed to do it anymore. For anyone mythical, having kids now, we definitely are anti spanking. But when we were kids, when we were kids, that's we don't, they, they yeah. said to do it. They were like, do it. I got you called know? in Rittling's office. Is we'll, it for the, is we'll it for the battle? Out. We'll figure out who was right in another 30 years. Um, Maybe it'll we, come full circle. What are we doing? Um, uh, what are ki we doing? Ki uh, kiwi and taquitos. Kiwi and, excuse me. Taquiwis. Taquito. -we. I'm down with that. Now these right here, these are great. Fruit punch. I think fruit punch with all the fruits mixed is a good idea. That makes sense to me. You're you know trying to give I mean? it to eat all those at once. You weren't planning on it? Uh-uh. You got, but if you're, if you're drinking a fruit punch, you gotta put all the, every flavor, just one of every flavor in your mouth at the same time. Now where do you stand on box versus bag? Um, good question. I mean, it is a bag, right? It's a bag of drink. It's, it is a, a bag. bag of drink. It is a bag of drink. Or is it a sack? It's a bag. It is a bag, right? They call it a pouch. Pouch. Yeah. But it is a bag. It's not really a pouch. Truthfully, like a I pouch is like a pocket on a kangaroo. Both are like very precarious ways to drink a, a beverage. Yeah. Don't you get a little nervous when you're? Yeah, I was nervous the, the whole time. <laughs> I got all the four no, flavors. I'm not nearly as nervous with a box as I am with the bag. Yeah, but think about like opening a can. <laughs> oh, that's good. There's, there's no nerves in that. Right. Opening a bottle. Right. Like good. I approach it with. I did. I. I, oh. I don't even think about it. Yeah. So why are we giving kids things that are harder to open? Teach them to teach them to teach them. It's hey. either that or spanking, Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't give them drinks in a box, you got to spank them. You got to make a choice. <laughs> hey, can you? Eat some fruities, some mm -hmm. gummies, and then and then drink that, and it tastes like you got a really juicy gummy. Hell yeah! Is that not great? He's oh. nailed it again. It's like <laughs> he's right. It's like I got the juiciest gummies in my mouth right now. This is the best thing we've ever done. I'm gonna have to get box drinks in my house. I don't even like fruit punch because I I need to think of it as fruit snack juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Fruit snack juice, there mm. it is. Oh wow, that is really something nice. And then look at this, now what are we gonna do? I'm gonna give you. Is that coming out of it? Oh, okay. It's like I'm giving you an injection. <laughs> Have I got a roll for you? Oh, there it is. Oh. It's a fruit roll-up. I didn't know that until it came out. <laughs> it's a fruit roll-up, dude. Take the cellophane off first. You, you know what, Stevie? You're right. I love these. We give kids a lot of things that are difficult. Like this, this, this yeah, is difficult. Well, it's because they have fine motor skills. I they think we're trying develop. to slow them down. It's like those toys that you can get for your dogs. That's like a puzzle with food in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what we should be doing with that's, kids. Give them yeah, puzzles. That, that, that's what the vets are trying to get dogs to do now. Is solve for their dinner. Yeah. Well, we're trying if to I make, had to do that, we're trying to make the dog smarter. You'd be real smart if you had to do that. I'd just be skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. 
That's a really like, good You know, point. it's not the reason why I don't cook is because it's not worth it. If you had put a test in before it. Hmm. Look at that. There's all every flavor, every color of the rainbow. Not in mine. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so what do we have? Apple? I feel like Apple could work with this. We don't have much to go on. This is the last one. Fruit roll up. You know that people that ate candy two to three times a month live longer than people who don't eat candy at all. <laughs> that ain't true. What it is you? true. People who eat candy two to three times a month? One but then to three people times who a eat month. It more than that. So people who eat candy a lot. Well. <laughs> so okay. If you've got three people, one of them eats candy like one to three times a day. That person's gonna die first. But the other two people, the person who abstains completely from candy and the person who just eats a little bit of candy here and there, like a couple times a month, that person lives longer on average. Because they're not because they have a little fun. They have a just a <laughs> It's indicative of the amount of And I'm being serious about this. I know, but that's such a little amount of fun. <laughs> 30 days and you have candy once it, or twice Honestly, in it may have days. been one to three times a week, but I thought okay. I think it was one to three times a month. But it's just like, people are like, you know what? I walk past the front desk and there's Almond Joys in there. And I know that there's joy for me in that, in those Almond Joys. But I don't get it every time. I do it one to three times a month. <laughs> and then I eat like this on the show. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably die. <laughs> so I'm not a great, I'm not a great I test I mean, case. you will eventually die, yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna die, dude. But I'm just telling you, if you're not eating any candy, just start eating a little bit of candy. Have a little fun, you're gonna live longer. But it's a slippery slope. If you slide too far down that candy eating chute, <laughs> <laughs> you'll come out on the other side of it's death. It's like Candyland. And you, no, that shoots and ladders, I think. is uh, Candyland didn't have a, have a slide? There's a slide on Candyland. There's a shortcut. There's a number of shortcuts. Mm -hmm. But there are no slides. There's a slide to go down? I'm pretty sure. Is yeah. that a slide? I think it's just a path. I think Candyland and shoots and ladders are pretty similar, if I'm being serious about this. Yeah. All right. I kind of like the apple juice with the with this. It's nice and subtle. <clears throat> the one thing that we've done here is fruit punch and fruit snacks do go together. Yeah, do that more. Everything else we've done today is you can just chalk it up as something you don't need to remember. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, we don't have room for everything. If you remembered everything we did in this episode of Good Mythical More, well, I hope you have better things to take up space in there, is all I'm saying. Right, yeah, every time you learn something new, you forget something old. But remember, <laughs> fruit snacks and fruit punch. It's easy to remember because they both have the word fruit in them. Now, we could have said fruit punch and fruit roll-ups, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't say that. We did not say that. Nope. Um, just a reminder to go over to Sport. They've ranked a ton of snacks over there. The best fruit roll-ups, best fruit snacks, every type of goldfish. What's the best snack that you've been sleeping on? Sport is gonna tell you that you should buy it and then you're gonna tell them thank you, sport.com. Mm -hmm. So, um, anything else you wanna be grateful for or? <laughs> I'm, I'm very grateful for this time that I've had with you right now. Um, I feel like we've Oh, had you a, left a great one for We've me. had enough fun mm -hmm. for several months based on that study. Right, right. Yeah. Let's call it a month. Find out what snacks taste the best at sport.com, whether you're a kid or just eat like one.